Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. What? The, the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Graham, tell Jodie Foster that story. <laughs> when I was teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother. And then I went back, and while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> and then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry. And then the next day, I went into school. And it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway. I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> had got mixed up in the wash she'd done. <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is... <laughs> such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> The curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I, I, I did like a faecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> and I started, I started going, oh, God, not this. Not this as well. Oh, Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids <laughs> just looking at me like this. <laughs> And that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly. So maybe Mandone isn't that far-fetched. <laughs>